Hello, Chef here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, and I got uh, Max stopped by on this beautiful afternoon and helping me out, so we got him behind the camera. But we are showing you this 1956 uh, Chevy 210 four-door wagon. What's really cool about this wagon is that it is an Idaho car through and through. Uh, started out life uh, not but a mere 100 miles from here. Uh, the last time it was on the market, that was new at the dealership, and the last time it was on the market was 1988. Wow. So we got one of those cool old Idaho. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Absolutely, yeah. This guy is uh, uh, old school, but now he's spending most of his uh, time and winters in Mexico. And uh, the wife says, honey, you got to sell the car. So here it is, beautiful wagon. Because it's a 210 and because it's a four-door, uh, this is a really approachable price. Uh, it's not the $100,000, $60,000 uh, Nomad. It's, uh, it's, it's the 210 wagon. Usable, totally usable. Very you know, so. You're not going to be afraid to park this in the grocery store parking lot. I mean, you could be, but it's, it's something you can hop in. You can throw the dog in the back. You can throw a board in the back you know, and hit the road and have some fun. That's exactly this rig. So the engine was rebuilt um, in 88 when he bought it, and he also painted it then as well. So he's, I, I forget, I can figure it out, but um, I think we've got the uh, information to where I think he's put less than 10,000 miles on this car. It might be like five. I just have to just do the math and look at his uh, purchase receipts, etc. But anyway, even though it's, you know, as far as miles go, it's pretty fresh on the, on the rebuild. We did do a compression test, uh, about the only way to tell if you've got a good engine or not. Happy to share those results, and they are um, good all the way across the board. Talk about a fishbowl. There's a lot of glass <laughs> on here, and it's in incredibly good shape. Yeah. You don't want to have bad glass on this car. No, it's clear. It's not scratched up. Beautiful curve. Yeah. And as I've been prattling on, Max has been showing you that not only is all the trim there and present, it's all really super nice shape. Yeah, nice and straight. Good paint, there are a few chips here and there. Um, you know, as you would imagine, he used it, he put his kids in it. And I think the biggest gotcha, but I'm not seeing a lot of paint issues, any, um, any uh weird bubbling or rusting certainly none of that really dry yeah uh this one right here is probably the worst and that is just improper uh let's see what somebody did is probably just do that in reverse gosh that's ended, cool ended up you know this top piece ended up marring that <laughs> the top has to come down first that is so cool Oh my gosh, really Shep knows I love Suburbans, and this is like the car Suburban of its era. You are the wagon man. <laughs> yep, I do like my wagons, here it is. Yeah, so plenty of room back there. This was originally um, what they would call the nine passenger. That third row seat is gone. It was never in there from this owner. If you can find one, God bless you. But um, if you're trying to figure out exactly what this was, and you're like, I think that might be a nine passenger you're right not touting it as that because we don't have the seat <laughs> and you know what that headliner i was taking photos of this angle and i'm like it almost looks saggy but it's not it's a really really tight headliner it's oh. just there's a lot of texture to it i thought it looked great yeah okay, but i could good. see what you're saying yeah there's a lot of texture but it's it's tight there's no sag to that at all good vinyl that's cool. And what I was also noticing was this is this trim that lines it too is really nice and glossy on the interior. So it's a cool place to hang out. Shep, do these seats fold flat? Uh, I believe they do. So, yeah, now we're talking. Throw your kayak in there. Uh, <laughs> these, uh, this door cards are pretty cool with this fun print. And that's throughout. The whole car. Yep, and there's your dome light. Kicks on with the driver's door. Driver's door specific. Good looking wheel. Good looking dash. It is a uh, 265 uh, V8, and it is a three speed manual. Three on the tree, off the column there. That steering wheel's nice too. 
and this just purrs right to life. So cool. I'll go look at the inside. That dash there. is in really good shape. Doesn't look like it's been aged. This thing's clearly been garaged. garage door up. Yeah. Show you these window cranks. Yeah, that driver's window comes down without issue. We've got visors, which is nice. A lot of classic cars, if they've been through the restoration or semi-restoration process, those things typically get forgotten about. Oh man, this is cool. Fun front bench <laughs> seat up front. If you have kids or a, a nice looking lady, just throw her right here and you're at home. No center console getting your way. No. But Shep, stay over there, All please. Right, it's wide enough for us. <laughs> Don't get any ideas over there. Love the uh, <laughs> cool. shifter. Oh, it's so great. Is that a tape deck down there? Yeah, I'm sure if it's working. I can feel a vent coming, which is nice, and that is closable. So it shifts into third, nice and easy. Check out that emblem up there on the hood. How fun is that? Brakes are nice. They are drum, but uh, we've seen a couple cars lately where they're drum brakes that I've had to replace all the cylinders, and even then I've still run into issues to where the shoes were too big and just being too grabby. Um, so that. It's a pain in the butt, it's not all that expensive to fix, but these brakes feel good and they're not grabby. So that reverse operation, nice and easy. Fuel gauge is working, our speedometer's there, temperature's not starting to climb yet. Tires, you hear that little bit of squeal? No, I didn't. <laughs> but nice looking white walls. So, if you're looking for a fun wagon, something to go out and get uh, ice cream in, date night, something to take to a car show, this is a, uh, a real inexpensive, a lot of bang for the buck wagon. Oh. Total fun. Oh, no. I think, I don't know what I was doing there, but. I won't do it again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your truck line.